Let's be honest, bad matchups are not fun. When you feel like you have no way of beating your opponent, you start to feel upset and frustrated. And I get it, sometimes when I feel frustrated, I might turn off my switch and call it a day. Or at least I used to. But that's not what you need to do to get better at these matchups. No amount of disdain will make any of these bad matchups any easier to deal with. However, in this video, I'm going to present to you a variety of things that will make these bad matchups much more manageable. Number 1. Play the character that you're struggling against. Knowing that character's best tools will make you very weary of those tools while fighting them. As a Rosa Luma player, I dedicated several weeks to playing Palutena. It is a challenging matchup for Rosa, and it definitely helps me. If you watch a good player stream, more often than not, they have multiple characters in Elite Smash. They played those characters to get a better understanding of the matchup. Number 2. Find a secondary that covers many of your character's bad matchups. As a little side note, some characters don't really need this, like Palutena and Pikachu. If your character struggles with cross-up pressure and getting on a disadvantage, consider playing Mr. Game & Watch, who excels in both of those categories. If your character struggles with getting outranged by long swords and has a bad on a shield game, consider playing Cloud, who can do both of those things very well. Number 3. Watch videos of top players of your character playing against top players of the character you are bad against. Look at what they do to counter that character and replicate it in your own gameplay. This is probably one of the best tips on the list and I really advise that you do do it. For example, one of my friends didn't know that Palutena's dash attack can counter Sonic spin dash. So all I said to him was go watch Nairo fight any Sonic and he did and he realized that dash attack countered spin dash and he didn't have as much trouble with that matchup anymore. Number 4. Keep a good mindset. After losing the first stock against their opponent, many players become impatient and reckless. You might do this by force of habit or you might just get frustrated. If you don't know whether or not you do this, save your replays and view them to find out. I recommend watching the buzz and replicate what he does while not in the lead if you're one of the people who falls prey to this. Number 5. Know what to punish with what. What do I mean by this? Well, knowing how to punish your opponent is vital for winning. Uncertainty on what to punish can lead to you losing the game. I recommend going to ultimateframedata.com, which I will link in the description, to learn your character's frame data as well as the characters you're going up against frame data. A lot of the time, I see people get a parry and smash attack regardless of whether or not it can actually punish the opponent. This is not what you want to do. Find your fastest and highest damaging slash combo starting option and learn what exactly you can punish with what. After you're done doing all of these steps, you can go to some of the character discords on Smash Chords and get that final bit of practice you need to round off your knowledge of that matchup. If you've done all the things I've said in this video and still can't win a matchup, ask yourself, did I really do all these things to the best of my ability? Anyway, I hope this video helped you in overcoming those very, very bad matchups. And if it did, consider leaving a like. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye! Also, if you guys want to see me stream my first stream ever, which is going to be the reveal of the arms character. I'm going to be watching the reveal trailer on YouTube or Twitch or whatever, and then I'm going to be playing the character, rating him on the tier list, getting a feel for him, and most likely getting him to Elite Smash if I can. So, if you can, any support would be greatly helpful. Pop over and just check it out. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching as well, and have a great day.